Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the RMWB's brand new South Operation Facility. I'm Jerry Neville from the Public Affairs Department and another great project that we're very, very proud of. And there's all kinds of great things about this building over and above the fact that it's uh, a brick and mortar kind of building. This is, there's some uh, very special features and our speakers today are definitely going to highlight those as well. So I'd like to welcome all of you here today, especially our members of the media and public that are joining us. And our first speaker here today would like to welcome the Mayor of the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo. This is Mayor Melissa Blake. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, special guests, my council colleagues, Lance and Keith, whispering on the side, not paying attention to the mayor again, guys. Uh, no, if you'd give the crowd a wave, let them know that you're here, that we are delighted to join the, all of you today in the grand opening of this fabulous South Operations facility. I'll tell you, I'm doubly delighted because I'm not over there having to run a backhoe and fill a little tiny water bottle. If any of you witnessed that, I'll give my apologies forever. Uh, but it is always a delight to come to this village building, not just because you have the nicest green wall probably in the urban area that I'm aware of, uh, but even driving back from the airport. I'm a bit of a traveler. On my personal time, I like to go far and away, and I like to see what other places are doing and how do we stack up. Well, one of the things that you hear about all over the place, of course, is the environment and the impacts that we all have on the environment and how we should all be moving to solar and geothermal and windmills. And we don't have windmills, but we do have solar. And what's so special about the placement, uh, not only in the fact that it's it's going to support energy within the building. It is a very visual reminder that not only do we have the operations that we do, that we have the care and the concern about our environment as well. So I take this right back to when we were putting together the Municipal Development Plan in 2011, and we had uh, the one be-all, end-all goal that superseded all the other ones, I thought, about becoming a global model for sustainable living in the north. And you could sit there just like I did, scratching your head saying, how in the heck are we going to do that? except to say that it's the incremental steps that we take that make those goals very achievable. And so this facility, I think, is one of the finest reflections of how we intend as a municipality to be able to demonstrate our commitment to that goal on behalf of the citizens, some 15,000 plus, who helped us come up with that one. This is a fantastic multi-purpose space that really has it all, not just the office building, fleet storage space and maintenance shops, uh, but those workshops in the service phase and wash vehicle areas, which is something the community is still lacking on, I'll uh, point out, because I can't seem to get a clean car no matter how hard I try. But beyond that, it is in fact the yard facilities for both traffic and parking of heavy duty vehicles, which again, our community doesn't seem to have quite enough of, but thank heaven, in our operations, we now do. Uh, there's actually a lot more that meets the eye going on here, and I know you'll hear about it from some of our speakers here this morning, uh, but it truly is a state-of-the-art facility. When planning it, the municipality, of course, is being uh, committed to the idea of being as sustainable as possible, and we wanted something that would, uh, again, give you that good quality air for employees who are working within the building. And again, when I do my comparisons in travel, I also do my comparisons about the building that you're in and the council chambers that we're in, and if we have good air quality that's needed, it's in council chambers. So if we can grow more plants and put more green walls in, I recommend Chambers as the first stop. Uh, but there's no doubt we're putting all of those plans on hold as well because we wanted it very much to be cost effective, functional and have a design that would allow the facility to expand as our community grew as well. So despite the fact that we're in economic times that make us question how quickly we might be able to grow and expand, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a place that will be here for a very, very long time to come and that the services that each of you provide will be essential uh, not only today but well into the future as well. So building this building the way that we have, we've got an ability to adapt to whatever future may come our way. And you will see, of course, that uh, the councillors who have joined me today and the ones that are not here, we are absolutely committed to ensuring that our workforce is able to meet the, the demands that we place upon them with the service levels and expectations and standards that we would like to see. But when we were able to open this up to uh, some folks last about a week ago or a week and a half ago, where that uh, bulldozer operation thing was happening, the show and shine really allowed grade one and two classes to come in to get an experience not only of honking the horns, which they did at great leisure, um, they also also had the chance to see the facility and I'm hoping that many more people will be able to join uh, the environmental tours that we hope to be able to conduct when we host the uh, Western Canadian Summer Games and we've got those 14,000 plus visitors coming to the region. I hope that they too will compare our community to theirs and see just how wonderful, how much more wonderful we've become because of not only the efforts that you put in but the opportunities that our region has afforded to us all. 
So we don't do these things on our own. We certainly have those uh, around us who we need to thank as well. And I think Stantec Architecture and Bird Construction are big contributors to this outcome here today. And finally, a big thank you to every one of you who have come out today. We hope that you have not only a good look around to see and experience what the building has to offer, but that you enjoy the fun and the festivities here today as well. Thank you so much for being here on this grand opening. Well, thank you very much, Mayor Blake. Appreciate that. And she did talk about some neat uh, features that are in the building. And when I bring up our Director of Sustainability, Kevin Scoble, he'll be able to tell you all the neat things that are uh, in the building and all the great things uh, about the South Operations Centre. So, Kevin Scoble. Thank you, Mayor Blake, uh, Councillor McGrath, Councillor Boucher, staff and, and our stakeholders in the project that are here today. So the completion and utilization of the, the South Operations Centre is an important milestone in delivering improved service levels to our residents. Uh, this facility now allows operations with the ability to stage out of both the north and south areas of the urban service area and to provide more responsive, uh, efficient and complete services. Uh, the South, the South Operations Centre also provides a synergistic integrated approach to service with the co-location of our transit services next door and everything on site here from inventory to fleet services to administration support. So it's really a, a completely integrated operation now. With the rapid growth of the region and the resulting rapid growth of services to meet, uh, meet this demand, we do appreciate the patience of our employees while we built the facility. We do recognize the employees stepped up to maintain services to our residents under difficult working circumstances in the, the temporary work accommodations while we built both this facility and at the same time expanded our water treatment plant, which was the historical home of municipal operations, to meet the multiple service demands. We do look forward to realizing the energy savings with energy efficiency of the facility, uh, the low heat loss design, the heat recovery systems, the in-floor heating and the solar power infrastructure. And we also look forward to positive relationships with our neighbors with efforts in the design and construction to control noise uh, from the site. So I'd also like to recognize the efforts of our engineering department who managed the project, Stantec, who's here today, of course, and Bird to make this project happen and to enable both the service capability boost we now provide to our residents and the better work environment we've provided to the employees of municipal operations. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. And as Kevin said, we couldn't have built this uh, facility without having some great partners. So uh, without further ado, not just a guy who helps build buildings in Fort McMurray, he happens to be my golf buddy from Stantec, Mr. Roy Williams. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to first to thank the RMWB for inviting us to be a part of this grand celebration. Um, if you look around the building, it's exceptionally well done. A lot of input from a lot of people. I would like to acknowledge or worship Mayor Melissa Blake, uh, Councillors Keith McGrath, and Councillors Lance Boucher, uh, Executive Director Mr. Kevin Scoble, uh, the employees of the RMWB, and the guests. As Stantec Fort Murray Office Manager, he gives me great pride to stand before you today and tell you how proud we are uh, as a company to have been invited to be a part of this uh, construction and design. I would like to acknowledge some key members of our Stantec team that has made this possible. Mr. Craig Clark, Senior Architect. Craig, where are you? Thanks, Craig. Mr. Daniel Johnson, he's our lead from our uh, Red Deer Office Buildings Group. Thanks, Dan. And our Project Manager, Mr. Byron Jeffers. Uh, I would also like to thank Bird Construction and all their subs, for without them, this would not have been the success that has turned out to be. At this time, I would like to invite By Byron Jeffers to the podium to say a few words about the project. Thank you. I don't know why I say the same thing. Your Worship, members of Council, uh, administration, stakeholders, good afternoon and welcome to the opening ceremony of the South Operations Centre. It's really for me a pleasure and a privilege to be here today and to represent Stantec Consulting at the opening ceremony for the South Operations Centre. I'm Brian Jeffers and my role with this project was project manager representing Stantec. We're here today to celebrate the official opening of this vital piece of infrastructure that will serve the RMWB staff for many years to come. It's actually been in operation I think for several months already. The South Operations Centre evolved 
from a fairly simple concept into a sophisticated, sustainable facility that accommodates several diverse activities including administrative services, heavy-duty mechanics, trade shops, vehicle wash and fleet storage. The surrounding site accommodates the fleet storage activities and provides an attractive yet relaxed atmosphere for the staff. The centre has been designed to a LEED Gold standard. The facility design incorporates sustainable architectural, mechanical, electrical systems including a solar panel display that you'll see a little later during the tour. Bird construction is to be commended for managing a number of construction issues over the last few years and the challenges and other obstacles to the successful completion of this project. They did a job very well done. To those who brought their skills to this project and actually built it, so I'm talking about the trades and the sub-trades, I say to you a job very well done. Stantec would like to thank the RMWB project managers and the various user departments for their insight and their direction throughout the course of the project. To me, this project is a true example of what can be achieved when a diverse team works co cooperatively together toward a common goal. The South Operations Centre is a testament to what can be achieved with that collaboration and positive action. This is a project that I believe the entire community of Wood Buffalo can be proud of. To all the stakeholders involved, those who were able to come today, those who weren't able to make it today, I want to thank you all for making this very much possible. Uh, that's the end of my speech. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the afternoon. And thank you so much. So what's going to happen now is we're actually going to cut the ribbon. We're going to get our dignitaries over there. Um, as well, uh, Robert Kirby is here uh, from Public Ops. We need you, uh, Robert Billard, as well, uh, to stand in behind. And our two councillors who are here today as well. So if we can get everybody to move over that way, we'll uh, move over and cut the ribbon.